so friends we see that z equals to 1 by t so uz capital uz equals to log 1 by y i can write 1 by y so 1 by y plus 1 so it can be written log minus log 1 plus y so it can be written minus y plus half y square minus 1 by 3 y cube plus up to infinity it can be written minus z inverse plus half z to the power minus 2 minus 1 by 3 z to the power minus 3 plus up to infinity thus whatever I say we, we say un un small un equals to 0 when n equals to 0 and minus 1 to the power n by n when n it belongs to i because friends you will see we are comparing the in inverse inverse that u z equal to summation n equals to infinity to infinity u n n z to the power minus n this formula is two sided two sided two-sided z transformations now friends again another question is uz capital uz is equal to 2z square plus 3z divided by z plus 2 into z minus 4 so it can be written uz uz by z is equal to 2z plus 3 divided by z plus 2 into z minus 4 and capital uz can be written 1 by 6 z divided by z plus 2 plus 11 by 6 z divided by z minus 4 so friends how can we get this value because if i will put in this here that uz by z equals to 1 by z a, a by z plus 2 plus b by z minus 4 just putting this value minus 2 in here so minus 6 and in here you get 1 by 6 so on the inversion on inversion formula whatever I get I get small un equals to 1 by 6 minus 2 to the power n plus 11 by 6 4 to the power n so friends how we will get because we know a to the power n formula you will see a to the power n un a, you will see a to the power n un divided by z divided by z minus a and you will see that z divided by z minus z plus 2 
means a is equal to a is equal to minus 2 so minus 2 to the power n so it is the inversion formula next friends we are going to solve residue process the inverse z transforms of uz is given by the formula un is equal to 1 by 2 pi i capital uz divided by z to the power minus n minus 1 so friends it can be solved by residue theorem residue theorem friends without residue it can be possible but residue theorem so so uz can be written 1 by 2 pi i not uz u small un can be written 1 by 2 pi i capital c capital uz z to the power n minus 1 t small z and you will see that at re residue is at 1 and 2 so residue at 1 uz z to the power n minus 1 equals to limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 into 3z divided by z minus 1 into z minus 2 the value is minus 3 similarly a residue at 2 uz into z to the power n minus 1 equals to limit z tends to 2 3 into z to the power n sorry in here 3 into z to the power n divided by z minus 1 we get 3 into 2 to the power n so friends what is my value of un my value of un is equal to 3 into 2 to the power n minus 1 now friends we are solving another problem that is un plus 2 to un plus 1 plus un equals to 3n plus 5. So un plus 2 is equal to z square uz minus u0 minus u1 z inverse minus 2z u z minus u0 plus u z equals to 3 divided by z into z minus 1 whole square plus 5 into z divided by z minus 1 how can i get friends we will see the formula n into a to the power n a z divided by z minus a whole square okay z n this formula i have already told z divided by z minus 1 whole square this formula i use in here 3n n equals to z divided by z minus 1 whole square and 5 into 1 so z divided by z minus 1 i hope i can clear 
and I use this formula according to, according to the formula. Which formula, friends? You will see that I have already written u1 plus 2 is equal to z square uz minus u0 u1 z inverse. So I can clear this formula, this formula, and this formula z into uz minus u0. This formula I apply. In here, so whatever I get after simplifications, I get u z into z square minus two z plus one equals to five z square minus two z divided by z minus one whole square. plus u0 into z square minus 2z plus u1z just calculation friends i hope you can understand these calculations so whatever i get i get uz value uz equals to 5z square minus 2z divided by z minus 1 whole square plus u0 into z square minus 2z divided by z minus 1 whole square plus u1 z divided by z minus 1 whole square Use it on the inversion formula we get small un equals to z inverse 5 z square minus 2 z divided by z minus 1 whole square plus u0 into z minus 1 z square minus 2z divided by z minus 1 whole square plus u1 z inverse small z divided by z minus 1 whole square. This is the formula. This is the uh, I, I apply inversions. So, so friends, noting that Z inverse Z1 equals to Z divided by Z minus 1 Zn equals to Z divided by Z minus 1 whole square and z n square equals to z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole cube z n cube equals to z cube plus 4 z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole to the power 4 I using this formula and after that I get I can write 5 z square minus 2 z divided by z minus 1 whole to the power 4 equivalent to a divided by z cube plus 4 z square plus z divided by z minus 1 whole to the power 4 plus 
b z square plus z z minus 1 equal to 4 plus c z divided by z minus 1 whole square plus d z divided by z minus 1 and after that a equals to half b equals to 1 and c equals to minus 3 by 2 and d equals to 0 we get the simplifications so whatever i get z inverse 5 z square minus 2 z divided by z minus 1 to the power 4 equals to half n cube plus n square minus 3 by 2 n 3 by 2 n equals to half into n into n minus 1 into n plus 3 similarly z inverse z square minus 2z divided by z minus 1 whole square equals to z inverse z divided by z minus 1 whole square minus z inverse z minus 1 whole square this is not whole square this is z minus 1 so the value is 1 minus n so friends my answer is un is equal to half into n into n plus n minus 1 into n minus 3 plus u0 1 minus n plus u1 into 1 so take u0 equals to c1 u1 equals to c2 c c0 and c1 so answer is half into n into n minus 1 n minus 3 plus c into c0 1 minus n plus c1 n so friends this is my answer i hope i can clear this concept and this this is my questions you will see that z minus z z z minus z whole square is equal to n thanks for watching